Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Happy Sunday is when I'm recording this. All right, this. Hey, oh, I hope you're well. Ryan J here. Notes and takeaways from day number four on Elite Elite Coaching Academy, seven days to 5K. So uh, awesome, awesome, Mitch. Right on point, right on point. Um, testimonials and social proof are, well, that's how we judge things as humans. Uh, well, I know I do. Like, ooh, me, so judgy, judge, judgy. Well, uh, rather than like using the Google and getting my own research and uh figuring it out like if i'm researching a product and want to find out if it's good or not uh, i check the reviews hey what did one person say and like go through them now most of the times on like amazon they're like it was good fit just right all right that's cool thanks for your time of putting that in there but that really doesn't help me out what helps out is like more than one or two sentences when it comes to the review and like let me know you know get into it a little bit more so reviews and testimonies and social proof of paramount importance because if you're anything like me that's how i get my information um so i yeah a firm believer in that firm believer in that and having a review and a testimonial is the social proof kind of like the amazon review or i liken it to um the foreword of a good book okay here's what so and so has to say about tony robbins book all right it's social proof and a recommendation from the guy saying oh my gosh Tony Robbins new book is phenomenal you should read it and and here's why well another thing that's kind of cool about social proof is like the person giving it and giving the testimonial they want to know what's in it for them as well it's a two-way street kind of deal two-way street like Everybody wants to be heard. Everybody wants somebody to listen. And by the, um, and this can go both ways. Now, uh, with negative or the people that like give negative comments on my, on anything social, okay, fantastic. Thanks a lot for the negative comment. But why did you do that? because you want to be heard and want people to like know what you're talking about and you want the attention so getting getting testimonials is kind of a two-way street it benefits both people cool um mitch also Mitch also uh, gave us the PDF and like a copy and paste, man. Thank you so much. That is so cool of you. And rather than to get the, the testimonial of it was good, two thumbs up, emoji, um, working with whoever your client was and guiding them through, maybe pointing out pointing out some aspects that they totally forgot were part of the coaching program and reminding them is kind of like a, oh, hindsight, here I was there, and then I took this course and I got the coaching training and here are my results. You know, sometimes that gets, uh, that gets, like Mitch said, it gets put back into the, into the memory of the brain like, oh man, I totally forgot about that aspect. So guiding guiding through the testimonial process, I really like that idea. That's that's super helpful. Um, so another way of like a social proof 
for me and then what I use in in like for me I just go ask people hey have you experienced um uh uh this this razor that shaves your head have you experienced that and what were your results you know like literally asking my friends, I just did this a couple of days ago. I had a question, but I knew that the person, one of somebody that I trust and I respect their opinion because they're pretty sharp. So I tend to want to listen to sharp people. I asked them, what do you think and how, how did you do such and such task? And they gave me the answer and fantastic so that's another type of like testimonial and social proof um i didn't know that i have an uber rating didn't know this didn't know but it's interesting to find out that i do in fact have an uber rating i'm a, a 4.6 as the uber rating so that means the drivers are rating me my performance on how good of a rider guy I am. I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, when I saw the 4.6, I'm like, hey, what is going on here? How come I'm at a 4.6? Like now that, because of that rating, that wants me to strive to be better Uber rider guy. And I thought I was pretty decent. You know, I tip them and don't like yell or berate their driving style or anything like that. You know, uh, hey, you know, they, they got a job to do. Let them do their job. You know, uh, it's not me f to tell them uh, you're going too fast or no, you're going the wrong way or anything like that. You know, uh, hey. Put it in the hands of the professionals right so for me f finding out i had a 4.6 uber rating i was kind of intrigued how interesting um that strives for me to get better and with the whole testimonial thing of ha and the social proof you know getting that that would strive of course to make us better uh coaches and give us more insight, insight as to, ah, aha, uh -huh, this is what I can do, or ah, this is what the marketplace is really looking for. So it's a two-way street. People want to be heard. People like to have them be known. Um, we get valuable information out of it as to how to increase and be better coaches ourselves. Um, and the whole social proof thing, like, hey, you know, real deal over here, or man, that was absolutely garbage. Uh, Amazon, please send me my money back type of situation. All in all, thank you very much, Mitch. Today was fire, and I am enjoying my Sunday of rest out in the backyard. Fall leaves time. Thanks, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and make it an epic day.